Okay. Sorry. Take two. I'm hoping you guys show back up. Sorry, I should not hit the finish button. Uh, the finish button is what you call finishing things. So I'm gonna start over again and I'm going to, there we go. Sorry. I, I, hi again. I'm back. Okay, sorry. Uh, <laughs> we'll try this again. We got good connection. Okay, welcome to my studio. I'm Tracy Weinsaffel. I'm getting hearts. Thank you, Lord, you guys. Thank you so much. I'm sorry. I'm gonna put a big fat piece of tape over the, um, the um, finish button, but you guys are coming back. <sighs> All right, I'm getting a phone call. All right, let's do it again. Let's do this again. <laughs> Thank you for hanging with me. <laughs> okay. Take two. Welcome to my studio. I'm Tracy Weinsaffel. It is Wednesday, um, February 12th, 2020. And I love this. I love that people say, we'll come back. Okay. And uh, yep, Oscar, to answer your same question from last video, I still am. It's a miracle that I still am. <laughs> so, okay. Just so you know, Oscar knew me way back when I was a size zero. So that tells you how long we go back. All right, I'm getting thumbs up, we're back. I'm gonna tell you one more time. This studio used to be my front porch when my oldest, who's 22, he's now or is 22, he was three. My dad and I uh, designed this studio and my front porch and made it, converted it into the studio on the foyer. It used to be a huge front porch. So, um, and it was designed with, um, it's designed with French doors. I'm gonna turn this around right over there, French doors. There was a reason for permitting purposes. I could take that out. It's not considered a room. It doesn't have a closet. So yes, I thought of all those things. The wall behind me with the paints, I'm gonna explain what that is. That's something that was kind of like the basis of my whole studio. And that was to be able to put my paints out so that I could see them. It's like, um, I'll, I'll tell you, I'll show you, I'll take this off the stand, we'll go through everything and you can ask me questions. Oscar, you are not allowed to ask any more questions. <laughs> um, Anyway, you can ask anything. I designed every aspect of where things are placed. I would change things a little bit. Um, in other words, uh, one thing I did was we put, oh, my dad and I put electrical outlets. Uh, my dad has a workshop, so I kind of went, dad, where should we put outlets? And it was like every five feet. Now, I would have rethought that and put them up, um, up higher, but I put all of them about two feet or so off, three feet off the ground, whatever standard height. And I had to build around that. I'm getting, thank you so much for the thumbs up. It means so much. I promise to not hit the finish button again. We'll stay here for about a half an hour until you guys are bored out of your mind looking at my storage ideas. Um, this didn't happen overnight. For those of you who are uh, looking at having a space, the first thing you need to do is just find a space. It could be in a closet, in a cubby, in a hole, in a wherever. Mine was originally right outside in the living room. I built this office um, for one reason, to always stay part of my family. My dad, actually, we were gonna go out and build like a she shed. Cheryl, I was gonna have a she shed before Cheryl had her she shed. But um, I decided it was kind of important to be here with the family and my studio is literally right off my living room uh, so I can feel part of things. But it's also double insulated so that really I don't hear what's going on out there minus the French doors but I can see, so important. And now my son sits over there so I can kind of see what he's doing. Um, but uh, I think that gives you a little idea. I'm gonna get rid of that off the screen. Okay, um, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask. This wall of paint, and I will show, <laughs> what it, it's gonna be a she-she-er shed. <laughs> Walter, Walter, 
Um, so, um, and welcome, you guys. Obviously, I'm, I'm wearing my hand-painted uh, pants. And I just got a cute pair of overalls today to paint for um, uh, somebody. So that's kind of cool. Uh, everything in my office is meant to be visual. So, and, and, and it's meant for me to be able to take it out and go places. Um, and so as Patricia just said, it really, if I feel the same way, you need to be near your family. I think sometimes as an artist or, you know, a craftsman or, I mean, obviously my dad had a workshop. He couldn't woodwork in our living room, but I think it, as a mom, it was important to, for me to be close. Uh, now they're moving on with their lives. They don't want me as close anyway. So uh, let's start over here. I will pan around. We're gonna try, I will show you too how I film. <laughs> Oscar, you are gonna get some pants that are painted. Okay. Um, so I'm gonna, tr I'm gonna turn the camera around. I'm not gonna turn it off. All right, there we go. So this right here, um, those are my paints or some of them. This is where it started. Some of those paints are very original. This is actually T-Grid metal that you get from a, an acoustic ceiling. I flipped it up and on its side and I just riveted it or, oh, oh you can't even see. They're, they're hidden because they're up there. I did it in three different places. They're really secure. They kind of have a lip on it. Now see, this bugs me. Somebody stole my paint right there. Um, and yes, my paint's in order. And for the longest time, all the bottles, see, this is my daughter bottle. You can tell, you can tell when people borrow things in my office because that would never happen in my world. But anyway, right? Okay. Mary knows this beautiful wall of paint intimately because Mary was the one who put the paints on this wall. Um, so there's a little lip on it because that's what holds like this T-grid and stuff. This right here, that's what holds T-grid, but it's up on its side. And um, I think these strips are at Home Depot for five bucks a piece. Um, this is starting to bend a little bit, but... Uh, if we have an earthquake, I'm in a little bit of trouble. A little bit of trouble. Um, everything in my office, I have really high ceilings. And I'm embarrassed at the state of some of it that it's in right now. But I promised it wouldn't be cleaned. So um, everything was designed with a work function. Yeah, you do need to turn those labels. So everything was kind of a working. Um, this was meant to hold things. This right here, uh, if I'm not, see, I did this the last time. Let's go slower. This countertop is actually, um, <laughs> I was gonna say hip height, but it's my boob height. <laughs> and I'm actually gonna clean all this off and get rid of a lot of this stuff because I don't really need it or use it. And I'm going to make this my photography uh, station. That is due to change any minute, uh, any minute. Uh, uh, so a lot of what's up there, I just want to get rid of. So you guys expect me to be getting rid of a lot of stuff. This is a second workstation. Um, I actually use this, uh, workstation for my imaginary assistant. Um, Mary used to come in here and work over here and we used to, I used to just love it. Um, Mary, we need you back. Uh, this is where I actually edit videos. So I sit over there now and I use that as like my editing station. And then um, that's, I, I also look out at the sunset. Okay. Uh, this is my working computer, you know, like just handle the life, handle business, handle whatever. Um, I will go into the drawers. I will go into everything. I don't care. Um, and like I said, I have this so I can see questions. So I have a chair at each station. Turn around. And when I have an assistant, they're going to be working full time right there. Anyway, and I always have upper cabinets. And for some reason, a lot of this is going to go. And now that I'm saying it, it's going to happen. I mean, I'm throwing up artwork everywhere. Now, I did used to work for Deco Art. I would say it's atypical to have your own Michael store in your um, office, but yes, I used to work for them. That is chalk paint. I'm gonna try and keep this steady. These are fabric paints, um, gloss paints, you name it. Okay, 
Yes, this right here, I'll come back to. Um, that's a jacket that I'm working on. I'll come back to that, move over there. I'm now in the fabric business. These are all deco art paints. And I do have a TV, and yes, I do watch TV. I always have sound in here. I also have a um, Alexa. Ale oh, nope, nope, you're good, Alexa. She's about to turn on. Thank you. <laughs> so, yes, I have too many paints. I got that, okay. Um, and then, obviously here, now I have companies sending me stuff here, so I have paints here. These are paint brushes um, that I'm using and testing and teaching. More paints, sealers, decoupages. This is a bag that I um, just got from Spellbinders. I shared that. And then, of course, this is the media line. So that covers all the paints that I have. Um, and yes, I do a lot of remote stuff now, but I'm really getting back into everything. So are you guys wanting to go into my drawers? <laughs> you guys want to go in my drawers? I don't offer that very often, but we're going to go into my drawers. What is the shelf life of paint? Great question, Patricia. The, all of the paints that I have in here are water-based. Um, very rarely, once you take off that seal, though, you're letting air in. I have had paints that have sat for years and years and years, and you give them a good shaking and they're fine. Every now and again, you realize that something is, the lid was loose or like gessos will harden up over time. Again, they're water-based, so you can, um, you can add water, but I am also of the opinion that once something is past its shelf, like dish it, don't try to give it CPR and resuscitate it, go find something else that you have left on the shelf for a thousand years. Got it? Okay, now in my drawers. Uh, and this, again, goes way back. I Keep in mind, I used to teach, or I do. I still teach. What am I saying? In here are pan pastels, if you guys are familiar with those. I keep extra watercolor sets for teaching, so I pull these out. Um, this is just crap I threw in there because I didn't know where to put it. And you guys can expect some mystery boxes coming because I'm going to go through and get rid of a lot of stuff. More watercolors, more watercolors. I use all my watercolors to take now for teaching, so those go. These are various sets. This is a watercolor pencil set. Um, these are watercolor crayons, intense blocks, inks. Those are just box sets. Um, the kids come in here and use markers. This is like their mark. It's always fun. Yeah. It's always fun that the kids, they, they come in here and can use anything. I don't, these are huge drawers. This, these, uh, this, this didn't, this happened to work out by chance, not by, um, remember the good old days of foam stamps? I cannot get rid of these. I absolutely still love them. So remember the alphabet stamps? Oh, I didn't pull an alphabet set. Those are foam stamps. So this, these came from the container store. They happen to fit four across perfectly. I mean, this is an organization. Oh my God. <laughs> this is an organizer's dream. <laughs> that sounded like it was going to come out as something else. Sorry. So obviously there was a time. There was a time. Okay. That I love foam stamps and I won't get rid of them. They're, they don't sell them anymore. And uh, those are staying. This is my catch all for crap. I think we can safely ignore this. I literally, and it goes, so back there is whatever I don't want to see. <laughs> All right. Yes, I used to work for most of these companies. So before you have a heart attack, don't think. Um, these are the, uh, I designed this space based around these containers. Remember, I mean, um, I think Michael sells these. Um, and they're all divided. So this has tapes in it. It's all labeled. I know what's in there, but I feel like still more can be. I work for Jelly Art, so obviously I have jelly plates in here. Here's Deco Art stencils. And yes, my stencil bins are these big old catch-all. And a lot of these are repeats because I teach with them and I keep all my teaching stuff with it. So I can just go in and grab what I need or I can take the whole container tools, glue gun, glue, um, and, 
<laughs> I, w I don't really want to go in the back there. Yeah, so these, these containers are great. I've broken a few of them, but okay. Sewing kit, threads. Yes, one time I went to an estate sale and it was like somebody was getting rid of. If you go ever go to an estate sale, the best thing you can buy there are threads and donuts. Or donuts. I love a donut. Um, threads or buttons. Why did I say donuts? Okay. So then I used to, um, way long ago in scrapbooking, like these are um, paper companies that I just can't part with. Like My Mind's Eyes, Basic Gray, Fab Scraps. I used to work for them. Um, I have things for bags, uh, like when I teach, so I bag everything up. Napkins, yes. I don't know why, but I have a thing for napkins. And I do have a... <laughs> um, I have a thing for napkins, but they've gotten pared down. Envelopes, cards, coasters, ribbons. Ribbons used to be my life. Um so obviously you get the picture. I need to go through this. Everything up here, hopefully I'm not going too fast. Any questions you can, yeah, ask. Yeah, 12 by 12 paper gets out of control so fast. So this, I used to do a lot of cards and stuff. And these are just embellishments, flowers, things I plucked off of various things over time. These are marker sets. Um, very fortunate to partner with some great companies. This is just a catch-all of crap. I don't know what's in here, you know, but whenever you need little letters. Oh, my God. Fabrice's. I love napkins, too. They make really good, I mean, like chipboard. My goodness. I kind of want to... Mini staplers. Real, oh, this is a stapler. Do you remember these? I mean, how cool is this? I have a pink stapler. I mean, really? Do you need? Do you need all this stuff? I don't know. Remember those Dymo tapes? I use those too. Okay. My jewelry making stuff. I mean, hello. I have it. You name it, I got it. Anyway, um, same thing here. Chipboard letters, things like that you just can't get rid of because you know you're going to use them when you die or you're going to take them with. Everybody says, I love napkins. These are acrylic letters, but you know how fun it is to use those as masks? That's Magic Mike, my microphone. And these are some journals that I'm actively in. Okay. Yes, the napkin exchange. Yes, we did do that. Okay. So moving on, this is my, I do use this. This is um, my Spellbinders die cutting machine. I don't use my paper cutter as much, so I just put it away. My sewing machine, I love that's an antique typewriter every now and again. Andy Skinner had this book made for me. It's a book. Isn't that the most awesome thing in the world? So that's just, these are just keepsakes, things that make me happy. Um, these are idea books, creativity books. Uh, I don't know. Crap that people have thrown up. Um, extra markers, pencils. You know when I teach, I have to grab stuff on the go. So most of my stuff is in little containers. Um, miscellaneous paints that I don't know what to do with. Uh, there you go. And then underneath here, I keep, this is a foam core board for doing photography. So it came from the Dollar Tree. I have it in black and white. That's my backdrop. If any, if any of you wonder where my expensive backdrop came from, it's from the Dollar Tree. <laughs> I don't, I, I'm afraid. I'm not going to go in here. This was, is teaching stuff. I'm not going in here. Okay, those are like canvas panels. I've taught classes. These are journals, all things that I bought. In fact, I have a journal class coming up, so a lot of that will be emptied. These are jelly arts plates because I work with them. So I will go in here, extra watercolors. These are all empty. And this right here is just, um, this is studio lighting. I, I do use studio lights. I didn't set them up tonight, but this that's what those are. And I try to put everything away. I always try to put stuff away. I'm I'm I hate clutter. I hate clutter. Can you tell? I just hate clutter. Um okay, let me push this chair in. Sorry, I hope I'm not making you sick. I'm trying to go as slow and quickly as possible. Um this right here is all getting removed. I needed an extension cord because I use my heat gun on my island. I'll show you my island. I really don't. This is one of those useless drawers. You're supposed to stick post-it notes and crap, but I don't ever use it. Um, 
way postage machine tape address yeah who cares uh, these are cords that I don't know what the hell they go to, so I just put them in these cord drawers because I don't know, you know, like little camera, but that's kind of like my hole of stuff. I don't know what it is. Okay, again, same idea. Everything is divided. Everything is in this buttons, buttons, book text. I save old books and just stick it in there, and then like flosses and stuff like that. I'll go in there. There we go. Probably pretty boring. I won't bore you. These are real, this really kind of dates back, like Unity stamps, stamp companies I worked with, lettering stamps. This is when I first started. Some things, they just come in handy, especially when the kids had projects. I now I'm getting to college age kids, so I won't have that. Um, I always usually have um, essential oils. Uh, this one is, <laughs> I don't, Dear Lord. Okay. So this is my true, I, I come here. This is the first place I come every morning. Um, this needs to be filed. You don't want to see that. My business cards. Those are how my bills are arranged. You know, this is, this is really getting in there. I don't know. Oh, this is really just envelope storage. Okay. I don't need to show you. Both of these drawers are file drawers. I found it important to have file drawers as is I have three file drawers. I know you guys, everybody just said label your cords when you get them. I, that's one of my nemesis. So office supplies. I don't even know what this is. A catch all of crap. Um, a heavy duty stapler because you never know when you're going to need one of those. Anyway, um, embarrassingly enough, I, my fi I do. Yes, I am like misorganized. I have all my files organized so I can grab things out in case we have to evacuate, which has happened. Okay, so I'll come to the island because this seems to be, this is my main workspace. I'm going to, I'm going to mount this camera because I'm going to, uh, and I, oh, I should show you how I work. Just people always ask this, um, I have a ring light, which is adjustable. And then I have two mounts for this. This is what, this this holds my camera. And then I have another one that holds like my uh, HD camera. So I'm gonna mount this camera right now. And I'm gonna hopefully switch this around. Okay. And I'm hopefully not gonna disconnect you, but it would help to get this on a stand so you guys, I'm not making you sick. I'm sorry about that. The only way to give this tour is to do it like this. All right. Okay. So my island is right here. That's what this is. I actually got this from Ikea before anybody asked me. Oops, sorry. Hopefully you can see my island. I'm going to aim it down. There you go. It's been discontinued. I got this. It was the best purchase I ever made for this office. I'm actually going to mount. I just noticed the other day my back is bothering me. And one of the things is uh, I have a big studio chair right here. I finally went and bought a chair because I find myself. <clears throat> okay. So I have a chair that reaches up here. I'm going to mount this table on, uh, what do you call those? Wheels and casters. But I have to reinforce it because it's from Ikea and it's never, Ikea just doesn't make, I mean, they don't make high, you know, really expensive, heavy um, furniture. Sorry, Ikea, I love your furniture, but anyway. Um, so right here is my laptop. I just got this stand. So this I use, um, this I use, I, I just got this stand. That way I could elevate and get, keep my mouse and my keyboard um, and have all that separate. And then this bad boy, this was inexpensive. This adjusts. So it's a ring light and I, I just got a new one. I'm not overly fond of it, but it's okay. It does the job. Um, but it makes me look thinner. No, kidding. 
I just got this stand for my iPad because I watch a lot of Netflix when I'm painting and I was constantly, it was super cheap and it matches everything. Okay, anyway, um, right in front of me, I always have the paintbrushes that I immediately use. Dynasty paintbrushes only. And I always have my water bin. Normally my, my stand is here and it aims down. I keep on the top of my, on this, I had a custom piece of glass cut. My neighbor, it's a glass company. So I used to just paint right on here, but when I make videos, it was very reflective. And um, sometimes you could see up my nose uh, when I watched back the videos. So, but it was super easy to clean. I have gone to taking a white piece of either butcher paper, but this happens to be a heavy canvas paper. It lasts longer and it doesn't tear. So that's always here. So I have a clean white surface because I'm super clean. Anyway, um, and then I have more brushes here. Get it? Everything is right here. But this eventually is gonna go up on casters so that I can not be bending over. I did a time-lapse video the other day of me working and I realized I'm probably really cranking my back and I don't enjoy doing that. Okay, I'm getting old. Anyway. So there's the stand, there's the ring light, there's my iPad. This right here, um, this was an, an island from Ikea. All, I, I love this, I love this. Um, baby wipes, these, everything was kind of in containers, but uh, my acrylic paints here. These are all the mediums I use and I started labeling the tops of them so I wouldn't have to do this 75 times. That is lids that I just, this is um, glass paints, I think. Chalk paints, yeah, for glass. So I have tons. This is ribbon. You guys have to realize, I used to teach tons, tons, and tons of scrapbooking. Ribbon, see, handmade with love. I should use that. Um... This is shop towels, transfer paper. Uh, these rubber gloves are rotted and actually don't work very well, so I need to throw those away. Um, those are those dental, um, those dentist towels that I use, um, keep protecting my artwork. And like, uh, these come from the Dollar Tree. This is what I use as a paint palette because they're super cheap. Not like me, okay. This is book binding, other sharp tools. Every time I stick my hand in, I get stabbed by something. So this is the drawer that I, it's like the killer drawer. There's always needles. I, I kid you not. I had to stop. These are stamp pads, stamp blocks. Again, when I'm teaching, I have to grab all this stuff, but I stopped traveling with these because they weigh 87 pounds and I started to get smart and tell people to bring them. These, that's paint brushes. Oh, these are stamps. These are teaching stamps. All of this was from teaching. When you teach, you have to have enough for... Oh, look, I have empty containers. Um, this is random paints that over time I just huck in there, and then I pull the bin out when I need it. Hi, Sherry. I think I answered... Is that it? Oh, and then I have a rolly cart that was supposed to be used to roll around at any time. But it stays stationary because I put so much paint on it that I can't, um, I can't get off. Um, what a great room. Oh, my God. Thank you so much, Anne. It is a true labor of love. I really love what I do. And I, I have to tell you that for so long I left this space because I really was not feeling it. And um, wait. Oh, I have those. Mary, great question. Okay, so I'm going to put this back because I want to put this awesome lighting back on me. Uh, Mary, I, they're, they're on it. So this island, Mary just said, what about those coasters you can move furniture with? I, they're on them. But this thing is so heavy. And what I want to do is I want to be able to move this around because I can catch different light and I can photograph different things. And sometimes when I paint uh, like wine barrels or bigger things, I want to be able to like move this out of the way and just shove it over. But they are on those coasters and I can't, I mean, I can move it, but it's like one of these things, you know. 
So that was basically a tour. I did pretty good being that I disconnected everybody. Um, this is now come back as my creative space, but I've, I've further evolved it to be um, even more simple because I do tend to take a lot of my art, my artwork, um, my art journals to bed. <laughs> that explains why I'm single. <laughs> um, so, excuse me, uh, that just makes me laugh. But I work with a lot of great companies. I, you know, like to give away. In fact, the month of May, uh, I am going to be sponsoring giveaway, 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 giveaway. That's what I'm going to do. It'd be going back to, okay, you did love the tour. I, I meant to buy like a handy little thing that nothing would, um, nothing would, it wouldn't, you wouldn't get dizzy or drunk when I was taking you around, but I, I can't really be on top of things right now. <laughs> I am lucky if I wake up in the morning and my head is still attached. So, okay, any more questions? I'm trying to think, because I think I covered it all. Um, oh, okay, behind me. Hold on, let's see if we can aim up. I told you my ceilings were high. Uh, those are all magazines that I was published in, so those were used to be, um, that used to be what I used to do for a living. I would write and do stuff for them. So I don't want to get rid of them because I feel like they're keepsakes for the kids and all my kids are in there. These are surfaces. So if I ever, when I go back, um, when I go back to teaching like on surfaces, which I am and I'm doing, um, those are bins of, so funny, I have the most random stuff, easels, more paper. Those are all scrapbooks. See, I told you I did scrapbook. Really, my first kid is scrapbooked. But, um, and then all those containers came from Target, and they're ba basically catch alls of crap. Like, you know, uh, my badges from trade shows. I have one full bin of badges from trade shows because that's used to be what I would do for a living. And um, I don't know why, but I can't part with those. I feel like they're just a part of my history that I don't want to part with them. Um, and then the, those boxes right there are those standalone easels that you take to those sip and paint classes, which yes, I have done before. Um, I think that just explains. Last question. <laughs> I'm not reading that out loud. <laughs> so, <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm so getting you back. Just so you know, he does lives in the morning and I am getting him back. Okay, Patty just said she got rid. I really need to, I, I have to remember which one it's in. I think it's this one. Oh my God. Look. I, I just want to say like, Yes. Do you think I could possibly part with these? Somebody tell me I can part with these. Please release me from these things. I mean, oh, isn't that funny? I pulled out, I'm going to this trade show next. Uh, Oscar, you're so in trouble. Um, I take a picture and toss them. Australia? Come on. Okay. I mean, this one came with a wallet. What? This is a very, look, this is a, oh, look at my, look at my, my business cards are still in there. Probably the business cards from the show too. This is a Vera Bradley one. Okay. You're right. I Release me from Okay, you know at least what I could do? Okay, Oscar said he parted with his too, and I know he goes to a lot. Sign them and put in the, in the mystery. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna be making more boxes because I realized after going through this how much I have to get rid of. And I'm not really a clutter person. <laughs> Except for the Girl Scout cookies that are in both of my nightstands right now. Isn't that horrible? Those things are just the worst. Um, so... Uh, this is going to be the first thing. I'm going to keep one. It's time. You know what I probably could do? I could probably take them all out of these. 
throw away this. I don't know. I'm not, it's, all right, I'll think about it. Release me. Okay, that is really bad when I have to, sorry, I put the bin in backwards. It was really bad when my dad goes, what the hell are these things? I was like, dad, don't, those go in there. Put them in my mystery box. Yeah, I'm gonna, basically what you see a lot of here is probably gonna go. Uh, I, I'm in a different space and I do, I used to scrapbook a ton, that's how I started. And some of that you just don't wanna get rid of. And I'm actually nearing the end of when my kids, um, I can donate a lot of it. My kids uh, used to do school projects and I would go, wait a minute. I have the perfect button. <laughs> Wait a minute, you need to do a study on the planets? I have the planet buttons. Okay. Okay, put the Patty just to put them in a scrapbook. That, can I just hire somebody to make me a scrapbook? This is what I need. Spare time, <laughs> less work. No, kidding. I hope you enjoyed a behind the scenes because now after looking through this, I am actually like, oh. Who needs all this stuff? But it is part of my occupation, and my dad always taught me the right tool for the right job, and I can't even believe I didn't have to go back into the bowels of this thing and look back there. I, what I'm guessing are old punches and stuff like that, but uh, <laughs> Oscar and my nightstand are three boxes of Girl Scout cookies currently. <laughs> I seem to be a sucker for a tag-along, and I'm, I'm having a just sugar, need sugar all the time. It's all the water I'm drinking. And uh, journals, 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 journals. I have them everywhere. I think you, oh, and books. Books uh, that I have read or I intend to read or, okay, any other questions about my studio? Anything else you wanna know? And no, you may not ask any more questions there, pal. Thank you guys for joining me. Um, next, Wednesday, I'm not here, I'm in Vegas. I'm going to creative painting in Vegas. If you are going to creative painting, and Patty, I'm so bummed you're not going. If you are going, I will be there, I will be walking about, um, I will have on <laughs> these pants in a size zero plus six, um, and I will be, have my journals. I will have everything with me. I would love to talk to you. Uh, if you did not mark your calendar on leap day, February 29th, uh, I'm doing the two hour live here in my studio, uh, paint leap into art journaling, $19. You can sign up for that up until the day before. If you're local, I will be teaching this class along with that jean jacket. Um, I will be teaching that class and I think that's all I have in my plate. Um, next Monday, I'm gonna do a Facebook Live. Mark your calendar next Monday. And by next Monday, I will have gotten rid of all of the badges. And just so you know, I have a running joke about the word badge. It rhymes with something else. <laughs> so when people ask me, <laughs> I know. I, anyway. Okay, Patricia just said, come to Maryland. I would love to go to Maryland. I'm putting myself back out there for teaching. I'm available. My kids are going off to uh, wherever they decide to go to school. and Or I let them know if they decide to live at home. I'm not running a, bear, a bed and breakfast. So um, I'm going to Oklahoma. In, for those of you, uh, see, I forget to mention all this stuff. I need notes. Oklahoma, I'm teaching in October. And I have, um, how long am I going for? Hold on. The registration just opened on February 10th, which was Monday. I'm teaching two art journaling classes on Thursday to Saturday. I'm thinking about staying a few extra days days and renting a car and driving up to the Pioneer Woman's thing, thing, what is that? The Mercantile? I, I love Oklahoma, I wanna go back. I There's a couple of places I wanna visit. So 
Um, Patty just said, I would love uh, to come to one of your winery jean jacket classes and I want proof about getting rid of those badges, Patty. Uh, Sherry said, you're excited for Oklahoma. Okay, Sherry's coming to Oklahoma. Oscar used to live in Oklahoma. Oscar, you went to my most famous steak, my most favorite steak place that I've ever had a steak was in Oklahoma. And it was on this lake and there was like a lighthouse there. I don't know the name of it, but it was my most, they had live music and the best steak I've ever had in my entire life. I know that's one of those weird little things. Okay, I need to go to Georgia. So, Georgia, I will put back on the map. All right. Uh, I need to go to Georgia. My whole family now lives in that Atlanta, North Carolina, all that area. Anyway, if you guys are going to Oklahoma, I will be teaching two art journaling classes. One is Thursday night and one is Saturday morning. So I hope you signed up, Sherry. No pressure if you didn't. There was a ton of great classes to select from, but mine's gonna be cool. <laughs> Okay, uh, I think that covers it. Uh, was the, <laughs> yes, it was. Oklahoma, where the, okay. I've seen that play four times. Uh, Oscar, is the name of it called Date Night? Or are, <laughs> <laughs> I don't, is that the name of the restaurant? <laughs> Patty, uh, Oscar lives in Oklahoma. Patricia just said to paint with you is on my bucket list. Oh my God. Stay tuned because uh, we're talking about doing art retreats and classes where I live next year. Uh, that's, I just wanted to get my feet back wet. Um, and that's on my bucket list for just that. That means a lot to me. Thank you so much, Patricia. It's, it's never, <laughs> I'm sorry, Oscar. I don't know the day. I don't know the name of that steak place, but if you know, I think you went to it. Cause I saw a picture of you riding a bike or something around and there's a steak place and there's a random lighthouse in Oklahoma. I need to text my friend, uh, Darvin and find out where that place is. Best steak in the whole wide world. The butter was melted on it. It would, had no calories. Okay. Um, Anne just said on my bucket list is to, everybody should have a bucket list. Oscar, you of all people should have a bucket list. Mr. Positivity right there. Right there. I know he better have one. Um, Patricia, or Patty just said she's fun, Patricia, but be careful. She might hit on you. <laughs> Patty is gorgeous. Just so you guys know, Patty is a stunningly beautiful, striking person. And when she um, when she uh, first spoke to me, I was like, "Whoa, you're so beautiful!" And it was really an awkward moment. And no, Patty is not my type. But uh, I guess if I did have a type, she's my type. She's pretty. Every, everybody's gonna go right now and look at Patty's profile picture. This was so great. I feel like I have you guys all here in my studio. Um, okay, Patty just said, I don't have a bucket list, but my effort list is a mile long. <laughs> okay, this was really great. So don't forget, if you wanna paint with me on the 29th, it's only $19. If you're a member of my membership group, your Artful Journal, that is free, 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 free to you. It's a perk of being a member. And for those of you who have it on your bucket list to paint with me, I am going to add um, to paint with all of you on my bucket list and also get back to New Zealand. Red Rock Canyon Grill. That's what it is. That is what it is. In fact, I'm going to be, I, I, that's, I, that's where it is. Okay, thank you, Terry. Thank you, Sherry. Thank you, Patricia. Thank you, Oscar. Thank you for all of you guys who are lur lurking out there. Uh, next Monday, I will be doing a special quick FaceTime Live. And um, Patricia, you don't have to sign up. Just go, uh, the, you should have gotten an email. Patty, Chicago is my favorite city to eat, drink, and be merry. I love Chicago food. Put me back. You know how much I love Chicago. 
Bring me back, people. Bring me back. That's on my bucket list. Okay. Mary, Mary, all the Marys here, thank you for your great space. Oh, thank you for sharing. And uh, I do want to say to those of you who don't have a space like this, if you build it, they will come. That's one of my... Um, it doesn't matter. You don't need a space like this. You don't need... Uh, you don't need a, an official space. This was my, this is my occupation, was my occupation, uh, a closet, a, a desk, a folding table, your bed, your nightstand. If you want to get creative, you don't need this. All you need is a Sharpie, a piece of paper, and you know me, it's keep it simple. And yes, Oscar, lurkers, lurkers, lurkers. I'll get a few nice messages like, wow. <laughs> I'm definitely appealing to the wrong community. Uh, anyway, and I believe I've gotten a couple of suggestions on what to wear and what to wear during my FaceTime lives in order to generate more uh, interest. <laughs> I do have a ton of stuff. I have way more stuff than one needs. It's not gonna be buried with me. I use it, that's why I, and like I said, for those of you who know me, most of this was all acquired through my work and what I've done for a living for a very long time. Okay. <laughs> uh, tomorrow night, team dinner. Friday night, my uncle will be here and I will have my family and my kids. Uh, we're walking for senior night. So if you're friends with me on Facebook, it's gonna be all about family. And that's what I'm gonna be doing this weekend. I My most favorite uncle, even though my uncle Chris, I love you too, will be here, my Uncle Larry, and um, thank you from the bottom of my heart. I will see you guys next Monday, and um, if there was any questions I didn't answer, my email is info at tracywinesafflestudios.com. The P is silent. <laughs> and um, you can get more information on my website, yourartfuljourney.com. See you guys. I will load this up to YouTube tonight. Good night.